What's up guys? We got another Cyrax video today. He's uh he's got a message for the kids. He's got some bullshit to say. Let's give it a listen. What's up YouTube? I wanted to make this video not only for a certain two people that need to hear it, but just in general. Because this is something that does need to be said about a lot of y'all younger kids that think that you're badass motherfuckers. Like a lot of y'all think that you're badass motherfuckers. For all y'all younger kids out there that are, you know, 11, 12, 13, 14 years old, hanging out with gangsters and thugs saying you badass, no the fuck you're not. You ain't fucking badass. You ain't. You think y'all shit don't sink because you're hanging around gangsters. Well, let me tell you something. Those little, again, those little friends that call themselves gangsters, they're not. You know what they are? They're a bunch of punk ass kids trying to play pretend. You wanna know how I know? Cause I know a lot of real thugs. I know a lot of real ass gangsters that will throw down. Alright? Cause let me tell you something. My whole life I was raised around two types of people. Military grunts and bikers. And let me tell you, them bikers, they know real thugs. They do. You don't think they don't pay attention to these other gangs out here? They do. And you know what they see when they look at y'all kids pretending to be gangster? They laugh. You wanna know why they laugh? Because they know that deep down, y'all ain't about shit. Cyrax, you always fail to see the irony in everything you say. People are laughing at you because you pretend to be hard when you clearly have no idea about anything biker gang or military related. What, you think that those friends that you call gangsters are gonna have your motherfucking back when you go to prison? Nah, they're not. They are going to rat you out so fucking fast that it ain't even funny, dude. Don't blame me. Watch. Next time y'all get arrested, watch how fast those friends turn on you. Guaranteed. Yeah, Cyrax, we know you're like all about snitching. You fucking love to snitch. A lot of y'all are young, man. Because something that y'all may not know about me is I've been to jail. I've been to prison. And let me tell you right now, I saw more shit in jail and prison than I've ever seen in my entire life. I saw more shit happen within 24 hours of being in jail than most people would ever see in their lifetime. Alright? Uh, I've seen way, way more shit in 24 hours in a jail cell than half y'all kids would ever see in your whole lives. I've watched you guys fight and get stabbed. <clears throat> I've seen so much. <clears throat> You definitely didn't see any of that in your overnight stay at jail. Uh, you're just a fucking liar who likes to lie for clout, and no one fucking ever believes it. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. I watched a dude get stabbed and die and bleed out. I've watched inmates get shot by cops for not doing what the cops told them to do for fighting back. Um, I've seen all kinds of shit, dude.
I watched a whole ass fucking SWAT team run into a cell and fuck a dude up. Man, you sure saw a lot of shit go down in your single night in jail where you probably never even left your fucking booking tank. And let me tell you something, what I went down for, I regret. I regret that to the fullest. But let me tell you something, when I got out, I realized that I could do better with my life. You know what being a gangster, you know what being a gangster gets you? It gets you hurt. It gets you killed. I mean, y'all sit there and say that, you know, you want the best clothes, you want name brand this, name brand that. Anything that you being a gangster is what's going to get that for you? No. That's not what's going to get it for you. What's going to get it for you? Is y'all actually getting out and working your fucking asses off. You know, mowing lawns for your family on the, during the summer. You know, going out scrapping metal. Doing housework around the house for your family. That's what's gonna get you somewhere. This whole gangster lifestyle, it's a fucking joke. Um, collecting cans and mowing lawns and doing chores for your family is not going to turn your life around, Cyrax. It's a little children's game you're playing. Get a real fucking job. That, gang that gangster lifestyle, that, there's only two places that, that get you. Dead and in a morgue or in a jail cell with no one to bail your ass out. And y'all sit here and think that this shit's a joke? No, it's not. Cause trust me when I say, when I went to prison, I met a lot of badass motherfuckers. People that I had heard about on the news that were dangerous as fuck. People that would have zero problem, zero problem killing one of you little fucking wannabe gangsters. Out here on the streets, they wouldn't think twice about putting a bullet in your head. I've seen fucking lifers. If you don't know what a lifer is, that's somebody that's got a prison or a jail sentence for the rest of their natural life. Meaning they're never getting out. I've seen a lifers take motherfuckers out without thinking twice. So you really think that you're a gangster? Go ahead. Cause y'all, y'all kids, you ain't gangsters. You're a bunch of punk ass little bitch kids. That think that there's something that they're not. Cyrax, you're a punk ass who thinks you're something that you're not. You went overnight in jail. And you're acting like you're hard as hell. You're acting like you saw lifers in jail. You don't get sent to jail for life. You get sent to prison for life. You're just making up shit you saw on Lock Up MSNBC and thinking you can sound hard and like you know what you're talking about. You're ridiculous. Instead of being a gangster, what y'all need to be worried about is school. Get your fucking education. You want to tell you something, man? I grew up with nothing. Yeah, my dad was in the military, but that doesn't mean we had money. Okay, my mom raised me on her own my entire life. After my dad got out of the military and basically left, and my family got divorced, my dad left, and my mom to raise me on her own my whole life. 
Let me tell you something. I grew up with nothing. Everything you see and probably are going to see in the next upcoming videos of my home studio, every bit of it was bought by me. With a few donations from a couple fans as well. But most of my gear, I worked my ass off for. And see, and that's the problem with your generation. Y'all want all the good shit, but you don't want to do the work to get it. And that's what's so wrong with y'all's fucking generation. Y'all want all this nice shit, but you don't want to fucking do the goddamn work to do anything to get it. Y'all don't want to work to get it. Y'all want to be spoiled little fucking shitheads. Well, I'm sorry to tell you, that's not how the world works. What do you think is going to happen when you're an adult? And you're out on your own? And your family don't help you? What do you think is going to happen? Cyrax, you don't make any money. You don't support yourself. You've never worked a day in your life. What do you think is going to happen when your mom dies and you have no one to pay for everything that you want anymore? What are you going to do? Are you going to ask Jake to buy you stuff or are you just going to admit that you can't support yourself at all? You try to get people to give you free shit, they ain't going to do it. And I'm telling you right now, that whole gangsta shit, y'all kids need to cut the crap. Because those friends you call gangsters, bitch, when they end up in prison with you, they ain't going to have your back. They're going to rat your ass out. Because they're going to be looking out for themselves. They ain't going to look out for you. They ain't your real friends. They say they're going to have your back. But open your motherfucking eyes and look the hell around. They ain't your motherfucking friends. They ain't. They say they are and they might act like you now. Wait till y'all go down for some stupid shit. They will turn on you at the drop of a dime. I promise you that. Because they're going to be worrying about saving their own motherfucking ass. They ain't going to be worried about you. They're going to be worried about saving their own fucking ass. Don't blame me. Watch. I'm 32 years old, man. I've watched that shit go down more times than I can count. Both on the streets and in prison. Okay. I've watched a lot of shit go down. Like I said, when you get arrested for doing dumb shit, they ain't gonna have your back. They're not. So all y'all kids out here thinking that you're a gangster and that you can shit on anyone you want to whenever you want to, wrong answer, motherfuckers, you can't. I honestly cannot think of someone with less useful advice for children trying to get their life in order than Cyrax. And let me tell you right now, to all y'all parents out there that ain't doing shit about your kids fucking doing, you know, doing this dumb shit, if I see it, if I come across it and I see it firsthand, y'all don't want me to do something about it. Cause first, I'll bitch at you motherfuckers for not doing something, and then I'll stop a hole in your kid's ass like you should be doing. Y'all parents are so afraid to discipline your fucking kids. Shit, when I was growing up, and I did bad shit, you know what happened? I didn't just get the belt from my mama. I just didn't get an ass one from my dad. I got both, motherfucker. When I got home from school and I did something bad, you know what happened? I got my ass smacked with a belt by my mom's. And then my dad put his fucking size 13 military boot on my ass when he got home from work. Yeah, so if you like the way Cyrax turned out, you know, do what they did to him.
Otherwise, you know, be a normal and good parent and don't hit your kids. So trust me when I say, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Y'all pussy ass parents need to stop being your kid's friend and man the fuck up and beat your kid's ass if they're doing something stupid. And if they want to act like a gangsta, whoop their fucking ass. Beat their ass. Stop letting them get away with this shit, motherfucker. Because see, that's what's wrong with y'all parents, man. You never want to discipline your fucking kid. You never want to lay a hand on them because that's abuse. That's bullshit. That shit ain't abuse, motherfucker. It's called being a parent. It's called disciplining your fucking kid. So stop being a pussy little crybaby bitch and start disciplining your kid when they do something stupid. For real. Y'all need to grow the fuck up. Stop acting like a little bitch and discipline your fucking kid when they do something bad. You know what's funny? Y'all sit there and you do, your kids do something stupid. And now when your kid grows up, you wonder why they got, they act like the way they are. It's because y'all don't fucking discipline them. Start when they're young. Stop taking their fucking shit and discipline them. Beat their fucking asses. Show them that you ain't gonna take their shit. Like for real, bend them over your goddamn knee and whip their fucking ass. And if they try to do shit to your family, beat their ass again. Stop taking their shit. Be a fucking parent, not a friend. Because y'all not disciplining your kids, that's why they're doing what they're doing. So stop being a little crybaby bitch. And whip your kid's ass. Because if I see it and you're not doing something, guess what? I'm whipping your kid's ass for you. Then I'm bitching at you. Start disciplining your fucking kids. Stop being a friend. And start being a goddamn parent, motherfuckers. So it becomes very apparent at the end that he doesn't actually give a fuck about today's youth. And really, he's hoping that parents stop raising trolls that are mean to Cyrax. Because, you know, everything's about Cyrax. But anyways, guys, thanks for giving it a listen. Have a wonderful day.